a few words on Greece from the ESM perspective. I can confirm what you already heard, that um, there has been good progress in Athens. There was good cooperation among the institutions and also with the Greek authorities. And I welcome that there's now an overall agreement on the package of fiscal measures and key structural reforms. As the data from Eurostat yesterday confirm, the fiscal performance last year was substantially better than expected. That is encouraging. But we have to look into the future. The future is uncertain. There's not full agreement on the forecasts. In principle, the ESM shares the commission analysis here. Um, but we have to admit that looking over a two-year horizon, uncertainty is high when we make forecasts. And therefore, I also believe, like um, the other speakers, that to identify contingencies um, to, as an extra insurance in case um, something happens unexpectedly, um, that this, this is a useful way to go and that um, hopefully can be done the next few days. Um, that would be then the precondition, as the President said, to look into debt relief in, in accordance with the statement from NIDAS and the Eurogroup last July and August. Because the ESM is by far the largest creditor of Greece, we have a particular interest to find solutions that make Greek debt sustainable. And therefore, at the technical level, we are looking into options such as maturity extension or grace periods. But again, as said um, by President Dijsselbloem, nominal haircuts have again been excluded by everybody in the Eurogroup today. I hope that all this can be concluded soon because the liquidity situation is becoming tight. It's now exactly four months ago that we made our last disbursement from the ESM to Greece. So no more disbursements for the last four months. There are debt service payments. There have been debt service payments. More are coming due the next few months. There's a risk that the government may have to accumulate domestic arrears again, which would be very detrimental for the economic situation. Mm. Um, therefore, I hope that we can make good progress the next few days and weeks. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, and thank you for coming and joining us here in Amsterdam, uh, Christine Lagarde. Guten Morgen. And good